uh, from Dr. Chileshe, and we've had a lot of solutions from Bogo Hive. One of the things that you have to understand in the space of ICT is that uh, the regulating of uh, financial aspect falls with Bank of Zambia, and the regulation of the platform where these mobile uh, payments are made is regulated by Zikta. So we look at the pipes, we are the plumbers, and then we have Bank of Zambia who are the electricians to make sure that they light up your place. But what we've done uh, is that we've signed an MOU uh, with Bank of Zambia, and we're having our first meeting tomorrow uh, looking at uh, digital financing. It is uh, one of the biggest emerging uh, issues in ICT, and uh, we cannot stay behind. We are talking about the development of applications. That in itself has become a danger uh, on mobile payments, because some of these applications have got uh, the potential to evolve and actually take money from you and give it to the person who was developing. So there are a lot of challenges really that surround the, the ambience of uh, a digital financing. But what I would also want to do with you is people like you become cardinal because as Bongo Hav was saying, as an IT person, you cannot find a solution for a farmer. You need a farmer to tell you the problems that they have so that you can actually go on and draw up something that is workable. So we would want also, like I said to the other individual, contact our, we have what we call an incubation program, and that's what uh, Bongo Hive does as well, but we are in an agency. We've also got a young innovators program where we look at inventors that can come up with, and we do a lot of work with, uh, with Bongo Hive. So from that perspective, we can see on what kind of solutions we can have. The expiring of data, uh, as was put up, uh, I keep on telling people this is not an excuse. Uh, in the regulating space, we have a lot of players. The competition, CCPC, it's a uh, competition commission, uh, put up, we are consumer competition, put up um, a ruling. Because as a regulator, we had actually told uh, the service providers that uh, this data did not need to expire. But the, the, the commission uh, gave a ruling, and it was a big page in the paper for the whole month, where they said that data was just like a product like milk, and it would expire. So the service providers draw their strength from that perspective. Again, I go back to you. When CCPC gave that ruling, where were you, all of you, to sit together and go and see CCPC and tell them, explain to us the gymnastics in this experiment? You have to understand, though, that uh, the service providers pay for the numbers that you get, meaning MTN, Airtel, and Zamtel, they pay Zikta for the numbers that you use. So there is uh, an assumed contract. If you don't put in airtime in your phone for the whole three months, the service provider will chain you off their network because it's an expense that they can't stand. So from that perspective, you will see that for voice, they've given it 90 days still that if there's no activity on your phone, they would obviously chain you out. So it's a mechanism that they also have. As a regulator, really, we have the right to protect consumers, but we have also got the mandate to ensure that the investors keep on investing in this space. Remember with IT, they change every three months. And for these people, remember we just used to have voice. Remember the days that your mobile phone was just used for voice? But because these people keep on reinvesting, now we've got data. And again, do you know that with data now, voice will be useless because you can use your WhatsApp or Skype to actually make a call without paying for that. So you can see that there are a number of things that are coming up. No wonder such rulings are put, are put up in front. With technology, they can, they can fuel wheat. The algae that you're talking about would be something of the past. And moreover, there was also a test in China where this algae, with a certain um, chemical put in water, becomes turns into food that your fish, if you're doing fish farming, becomes an added advantage to the fish. So what we need to do is to have uh, a stakeholder meeting with all of you so that we can have one voice. It becomes very difficult to see. We can work in the same way by the access of the device. But that's not the goal that is there. And also, you guys have to be our voice.